Hello viewers, welcome to Rohit Tech Zone. Today in this video we are going to see how to create a Mario game. So many of you has created, uh, many of you has played Mario game, Super Mario game, and it looks fantastic. Today we are going to uh, create our version with some different characters and amazing features in it. And uh, first uh, let's go to the Chrome. And uh, another one thing that today we are not actually going to uh, make a multiple stages but an infinite runner game which is like a Mario game with score etc. So let's get started. First open Chrome. So after after opening Chrome, uh, uh, go to the search tab and go, uh, type for code.org. So after it is opening, uh, you will see a screen like a sign in screen over here. Yeah, like this. So click on the sign in button. Click continue with Google or you can also continue with your other accounts or create an code.org account. Uh, select your account. I am in my case I am selecting this account. Now click on this your profile. Click my projects. So click create. Click game lab. So yeah, now we have came and now click uh, the remix button, which is right here. So now rename it I'm renaming it as uh, Mario let's, uh, let's name it later now let's keep it as Mario and next click on this animation tab Next, uh, click this add animation, new animation. Now it's time to select the character for our game. So let's select for any characters. So yeah, I'm planning to keep a uh, round character like this the pick token or something like that or let's keep kangaroo for the character yeah i think this will be fine for our character let's name it as player let's add a new animation and now we have to set the obstacles let's add a cactus Let's add something like this mountain rock. You can also upload your own image. And next, let's add a ore diamond. Next, uh, let's add a. So let's go to up, obstacles and let's. So yeah, let's add this jumping spring in and out. And next, uh, let's add. I think it's enough. So let's go to all category. 
can we add a vehicle no no and that's it well let's see uh, if we need any other character i think we don't need it and let's just rename it let's rename it as point 2 and let's add another one word <coughs> the gold let's rename it as point 1 uh, So yeah, that's it, and let's rename the cactus as cactus rock as rock. Yeah, let's go to the code section. Now it's time to create multiple variables. So first, uh, you can also use blocky modes, but uh, typing the code is easier and simpler. Let's create a variable. Let's name it as player and equals create pride. Close the bracket and in and semicolon at the last. And inside it, we have to give the x position, y position, width, and height. So let's give the x position around uh, 35 and the y, or else let's give around 50 and the y position. Let it be in here 130 and uh, 368, comma 368, and the size is around 25 comma 25. Let's keep something like it. And we forgot to create the uh, land at the bottom. Let's see if we have anything. Or let's draw a moon land. Let's resize it. Let's give the width uh, width as 800 and the height as 20, 25 or 25. Yeah, okay. I think it will be proper. Yeah. Let's check 25 is fine for our project or not. So this is 400. The 25 comes around uh, here. Yeah, it will be fine. So yeah, now it's time to fill it with a color. Let's fill it with the uh, with this color, and uh, let's add some designs in it. So we have to add some uh, designs or rock-like thing. So let's use the paint bucket. Sorry, the drawing tool, and choose pink color. I think it's not enough. It's not good. So let's again fill it. So yeah, I think we can use this for the land. And next, let's go to Kangaroo. Let's make a GIF like thing. So add new frame. Copy the frame. Let's see if we can make it. Use a lasso select. No, it's not proper. Let's again do it. So you have to exactly go on the line. 
So there is a tool called shape shape selection. So let me select the select the whole shape. Let me select it again and copy it and keep it aside. I think we can do it. Next, let's take the. No, it's not proper. I think we don't need any GIF. So let's go back to code. So we have to make it jump. For that, we have to add a velocity. So before that, let's create the ground equals. So let's keep it. So the ground x should be. So the ground x should be two hundred, which is in the middle of the screen, and uh, y should be four hundred, which is the bottom of the screen. And the size is actually we can give it as four hundred, and the height is twenty five. And we have to set the animation. So for that, ground dot set animation, and inside bracket we have to enter the animation name. So we have, I think we have not renamed it. Yeah, let's rename it as ground. And uh, ground dot set animation ground. Let's do this. And next for player, let's set the animation. Player dot set animation player. So yeah. So yeah. Next uh, we have to create a var another variable. I think we don't need. Let's just check. No, we don't need any other variable. So the next is the, we have to insert function draw. Or uh, let's create another function. Function point and another function. So before let's slash it out. Before that, let's give the command draw sprites, and now let's just see. So we have to scale the kangaroo. So player dot scale equals zero point three. Let's test it. So we have to scale it much smaller, zero point one. 0.2 I think 0.15 will be better Yeah this is better So it has to jump so we have to give the velocity for that player dot velocity So we have to give the Y velocity because it is the high high upper thing velocity y equals so it has to decrease the velocity so we have to give a negative two now let's see so let's just set the background color. background let's give the rgb function and inside rgb let's give, go to google and search for pink rgb code so we can get the rgb code like this so we have to copy this 
the code which is inside 255,192,203 and just paste it. Yeah, now let's run it. So it is moving higher and it is not coming down. So we have to make it jump so it has to come down. So here we have to give player before that, uh, yeah, player dot velocity. y equals player dot velocity y player dot velocity y plus zero point eight. Now let's run the program. So it's not working because here. We have to give an if command. So we have to give a if command. Before if command, we have to give player dot collide inside the bracket ground. And next, we have to give the if command. If Player dot collide ground so inside this if command you have to enter this and let's change the velocity as from minus 2 to let's give the velocity high minus 10 and outside, outside the if condition, you have to use this command. Now let's check it. So it's not working. So let's queue player dot is touching So now it's not working. So let's try another thing. If key down. So we have to enter that if key down. Let's give it as up. Now let's run it. So yeah, now when I click the upper arrow, it jumps. And when I keep on pressing the upper arrow, it goes up, up and up again. So now over here we have to group. So we don't need the group. So let's remove the group. And let's remove the variables. And uh, now we have to... We, we don't need to give that player dot collide ground. Inside the if condition, we have to give if player dot collide ground. Then player dot velocity should be minus ten. Uh, after that, uh, always the player dot velocity plus zero point eight should be the velocity. Let's try running it. So yeah, it works. But uh, let's give it zero point nine. So yeah, it jumps lesser. And next we have to give if player dot before that uh, let's set the spring this thing, the spring thing. I think we can slower the animation down. So yeah, it will be good. And uh, we have to set the ore above the spring. So when the player is, touches the ore, and the ore should it should uh, get the player should get the point. So we have to display the scoreboard after that. So let's create a variable. 
variable ring equals create sprite so yeah so now we don't need to create the sprite over here but instead let's uh, remove this and let's create a function and before that let's create a group variable spring group equals create create group and next Let's go to inside a function. So yeah, here we already have created the beginning of the video. Let's rename it as function spring. And inside we have to give variable spring dot, sorry, spring equals ph sprite. And the attributes x, y, and the width height should be entered over here. So let's give the y as the same as the player 130. Sorry, the y is 360. 8 for the player which we have already given just use the same so the x should be so before that let's make the ground moving so after the group after we set the animation let's uh, set up ground dot x equals ground dot x divided by 2 and next inside the function draw we have to give a if condition if ground dot x is less than 400 then ground dot x will should be equal to ground dot x divided by 2 and here let's give ground dot velocity x equals 800 so now the ground is actually so it's too fast sorry the 800 not gate or so it should move towards this so it should give it as minus 8 so yeah it works fine to know that let's add some animations in the ground so I think we can add some pictures or something like that. Let's uh, increase, resize it to 35 pixels and let's give resize. Let's run it. Yeah, it's fine. And now we have to add something. So instead of a kangaroo, I thought of add, uh, deleting this. Yeah. And... Uh, Let's add uh, something like this. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's check any others. Yeah, let's add a robot. But it is not a GIF. So let's add this. Let's run the program. Before that, let's rename it. Where is it? Yeah. Player. So, 
So now let's run it. So it's too small. Let's resize it to 0 0.5. It is not enough. Let's see, say it is to be 0 0.4, 0 0.35 will be fine, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. And uh, now we are actually going to delete, create, let's see, T or LZ, create a duplicate frame. And in this, we are going to select the rectangle select tool and exactly select the whole wing and click delete. Yeah. Now, take the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. So, it will be in black color. Go to the previous frame, use the color picker, pick the color and... Uh, I think there is some mistake in this. So yeah, it will be black color previously. Use the color picker. Pick the color. And go to the thing which you need. And uh, just click paint bucket and paint it. So inside I am going to paint this dark color. So I am going to pick it. Choose the paint bucket fill it so it's not proper so yeah now I'm filling the outer layer I'm gonna use this and fill so let's take another one rectangle tool and draw a rectangle uh, inner rectangle of a color the, this color so let's fill it first let's check yeah of now let's take a rectangle of this color and draw it in inside it So yeah, it looks good. Now we have to move it at the first frame. And we have to go here. If key went down. So the key, let's give it a space. Then this should happen and over here in the function draw we have to view that uh, player dot pause. So it will pause the animation which is this uh, GIF thing. It will pause the GIF thing. So yeah and next inside the space let's give it play player dot animation set animation sorry so yeah player dot a Let's check it now. So we have to give player dot collide ground. So when I click space, it is playing the animation. And when it so yeah and it again passes the animation so instead of that 
we have to give if player dot sorry if inside bracket so let's just cut it player dot collide ground then open the bracket then inside we have to give so let's make it as a uh, two animation let's so yeah let's create a new animation inside it or else let's just copy it and here player one let's rename it let's delete this frame let's delete this frame yeah now over here let's delete this frame so when i click space the animation should be over here let's you player dot set animation so yeah player dot set animation player 1 and if the ctr and c if space is else let's give e l s e else I think this should not be given. Else, player dot set animation player. So yeah, it was fine. And even I, if I click it twice, it goes much higher. And I have to create the uh, top edge. So for that, let's go here. let's give the create edge create yeah top so let's search for the command so we don't need to do it like that let's give create edge So let's get that command. So now we cannot see any differences, but in the upcoming thing, let's find, uh, let's make it a different thing. So next thing is that, uh, so yeah, it's working fine. And we have to increase the uh, speed of the animation. Yeah, this. Let's start it. So yeah, it works. So now I have created, went to the MS Paint and clicked the resize button and clicked pixels. 
and maintain aspect ratio and 800 horizontal and 35 vertical and click to ok and now next let's create this is uh, creating our ground once again so that ground is not uh, looking so good let's select the color for the ground yeah now let's paint it let's add some images to it so i cannot change the ground so let's add some obstacles to it so we have to create the spring d6 comma so let's give an if condition if world dot frame count frame count so well dot frame count let's go to the show blocks Spring is already defined. So we have to give world dot frame count modulo sixty equals 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 zero. Now let's see the block. So yeah, this is what we need. then and variable spring should be created in the x so let's create it outside the thing around 400 and uh, 365 yeah, now let's run it so it is created outside it. So let's give spring. We have to give the I think yeah no need spring dot velocity x equals so it should be decreasing so minus So what is the ground velocity? So let's give minus 3. Let's run it. So we are getting an error. Let's rename it as spring 1. Now let's run it. So we have not called the function. So let's call it. Spring, yeah, let's run it. So, yeah, it's coming now. We have to set the animation spring dot set animation. And uh, we have to set the spring animation to it. Let's run it. Spring 1. So we have not renamed it. So it's too big. We have to scale it. Spring 1 dot scale equals 0 0.5. Let's run it. So we have to change the X position and we also have to scale it into 0 0.3.
good and uh, when the player jumps over it he should uh, uh, again he should jump like the spring so before that let's do the command spring dot collide ground spring one so it's not proper let's queue spring dot velocity y equals minus or a plus five let's run it g1 no so we don't need this function so let's give it 360 let's run it so it let's keep us it should be pause so let's give spring dot pause so it's spring one So after setting the animation, we have to pause it. Let's run it again. Yeah, it's passed and we have to move the X position around 365. Let's try 375. So yeah, and when the player is touching it, uh, it should jump. And let's try creating an invisible line. Variable line equals So let the x and y be the same and next uh, the size should be 10 comma 20. So the height sorry it should be 5 and 10 comma 5 let's run it. So it's not visible let's give the y position as three fifty five no let's give it The problem is we have not given the velocity so here we have to give line dot velocity x equals minus 3 let's run it
so i forgot to give the create sprite now let's run it so yeah you can see the line above and now we have to change the x and y and also the width let's keep it 50 let's run the program So it's too low. We have to give 370. It should be 368. So yeah, it's fine. And now this let's change it to 45. Or else 40 will be fine. Yeah. Now we have to add it inside a group. Let's create a group. So spring group is already created. So spring group dot add spring one. Next, we have to create another group and that is invisible group equals create group. And next here, invisible group dot add line. Yeah, and here we have to set the visibility line dot visible equals false and uh, let's give it as 180 because the, we don't need the spring to come often let's test it so yeah it's invisible now and next inside the function draw Let's give a if condition. Yeah, if player dot is touching so player dot is touching the Invisible group, then let's just copy this. And next, I think that's enough. Let's run it. So let's, yeah. So yeah, when we click the, when we come on the spring, it jumps. So let's make it jump much higher. Let's try. So it's too much. So yeah, and also we have to give spring play 
let's reset it and do it so it's spring one let's try it now again no it does not work so let's use spring group let's run it So we have to answer it. Yeah, this command it should be spring one, and we have to copy it. Let's cut it and paste it inside this. Let's run it. No, it does not work. So let's create multiple animations like we did for the player. Let's duplicate it. Spring one. So yeah. And in the spring one, let's delete. In the spring one, let's delete the other frames. And now let's go to the. Let's copy this again. Yeah. Let's do the dot set animation. So we have to set the spring animation. So yeah. And next over here. So first, let's try. No, because we have to declare the spring control X control V. And over here again, control V. Let's try now. So this is over here. Let's give comma zero, comma zero. Let's Yeah, now let's try. So let's give ten comma ten. Uh, 
let's move it outside around 800 and let's now try it so yeah now we have to over here instead of pass let's use set animation as spring one so let's just slash it out so yeah then uh, we also have to pass it so that is it yeah let's give else command let's copy this paste here and give one let's run it no so we have to do another thing that uh, set timeout So, so yeah, set timeout function. And inside it, we have to do this. And then, comma, 400 or 1000. Let's run it. No, it doesn't work. So yeah, putting the timeout over here at this point comes it's fine so let's give it 800 milliseconds let's see if it works let's give it as 400 so now let's test running it So yeah, it's fine. So we have to place a more above it. For that, let's give that uh, variable or us don't need a variable. Yeah, over here, let's give variable or equals create write we have to x y give the wick 
x, y width and a height. So the x let's do is 4, 800, this is this 800 comma Three seven five. So the next is so that's it. Next, let's do he over here. It should be more height. So let's give it around uh, five eight hundred. Sorry. Let's give it around 75. Next over here we have to view more equals create sprite. And let's give the attributes. that uh, it should be in uh, let's give 400 comma 80 yeah let's try 90 and let's yeah next let we have to set the animation for that let's create a random variable and a equals random number and inside it let's use the starting value 1 and ending value 2 and over here we have to rename those name or e1 and where is it yeah O R E two. Yeah. Next, we have to set four dot set animation. O R E. O R E plus rand A. Let's run it. So we have to set the velocity and we have to scale it. Four dot set velocity sorry that set will not be coming over here yeah x equals minus 3 Let's run it. So it's coming with it. I think we have to view the excess uh, 420 will be fine I guess. And the scaling part over here let's scale it four dot scale equals 0 0.3 yeah let's take the size I think it's good but we have to move it slight downwards so for that let's give it 120 or 130 will be fine I guess
so yeah it's it's good and next over here we have to give an let's remove this let's check once again so yeah and now we have to give one function that if it is uh, only below below 155 the x is below 155 we can jump sorry the y is below 180 we can jump jump something like that let's give so where is it so inside function ra so yeah here let's give and and player dot y equal so or less than 150 why are we getting error so the problem is we have to give the this symbol first and the equals next and now let's run it so why is is less than 150 so we have to give more than let's run it why does it not works so yeah now it works fine that uh, i have just uh, given it more than or equal to 230 so now the maximum height is only this much this is the maximum height that it can jump and it cannot touch the wall if it is not uh, jumping the if it does not uh, that is just spring so yeah now we have to add an if condition over here if player group sorry player dot is catching spring let's give it as spring group then console dot log h let's give it in double quotes yeah let's run the program so this is the console oops so let's run it no it doesn't so i think we have to move the invisible line somewhat above it around 373 let's try now so yeah let's try jumping let's clear this off 
Yes, the word touches coming. Let's slash this out. Let's try it out. So where is the line? Give it three sixty. So it's over here. So now I think we can fix it by just deleting this. Let's try now. So we are getting this error, I am not sure why. So it should not display touch. Let's try once more. I think it's because of the animation. So let's make it much slower. Now let's try it. So it is working. I think we should add a timeout. So yeah, now it's good. This is what we want. So now we have to make it invisible. So the thing I have done is that the problem was there was much uh, space above the sprite. So I just clicked this button, crop the sprite. Then it cropped only the sprite. Then now, so let's wait for the spring. So when I jump, the touch message is not visible, but when I'm not jumping, you can see the touch message is visible. So now we have to create a game state. Game state equals play and the variable. So yeah, now let's change the game state. Game state equals end. So let's do and then game state equals play and next we have to cut this and next put a if condition from yeah from here if game state equals 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 play and it should end over here and we have to paste this over here Let's run the program. 
so now the game set is in play and we can see that we can jump yeah so why are we getting the problem again So let's move the invisible line. So I have removed that if condition. I am just adding the thing in everything. Yeah, over here. And then game state should be play. So let's run it. And also we have to add another one if condition over here. If Yeah, game state equals play. It have to run the spring. Let's run the program. So yeah, now it works. Let's try not jumping. Yeah, it is not working and we have to set the velocity of those to zero so spring dot velocity x equals zero so we have named it as spring one so yeah now let's copy it yeah now here we have to give that uh, or dot velocity x let's run it so why is it not coming so yeah we have to cut it and we have to put if game set equals equals end yeah over here now let's run it Yes, the screen is clean. Now it works. Let's wait for it. Yeah, it stops. And nothing is working right now. So next, inside... Uh, so let's create another function for the whole. Until now we have given the word inside the function spring. Let's just copy the whole thing inside the function spring and paste it over here and delete the things which we needed for the spring. And just keep what we need. I think, yeah. That's it. So we have to create another two group variable or one group equals create group and next variable or to group equals create group yeah now let's see which is one and which is two so one is the diamond let's rename it as old Two, yeah, and let's rename this as one. Yeah, and now this we have to uh, align the image to center and crop the image. Yeah, 
and the same for this align the image to center and crop the image now let's just check if it works properly yes so now here we have we have to give the if condition after the random variable is created if rand equals 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 1 then and also else if rand a sorry rand a equals to Let's create a variable. Variable point equals zero. Yeah. So when it touches the golden ore, it should uh, one point should increase, and when it touches the diamond ore, it two point should increase. So here, point equals point plus one yeah let's copy the same and paste here point plus two so i'm wrong over here we should not do it let's just slash it out we have to give let's we have to create another game state variable point state equals and let's rename it first initial value let it be zero point state equals zero and now over here we have to set point state equals one point state has not be declared by Let's give the same again. Sorry, copy and over here. Now it should be two. And inside function draw. Over here, let's click enter if. point state sorry we have to give if player or as or dot is touching let's give the player itself is touching or and and point state equals 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 one then point equals point plus one yeah and another one let's and also and then game state equals 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 play let's 
let's copy the same and you else if point state equals 2 then point plus 2 so next let's view a thing that console dot log point state no we have to view console dot log point yeah let's run the program so now the point is zero so i forgot to take the point So we are getting an error. Yeah, let's slash it, slash it, slash it, slash this to slash this because we already have the function O. And next we have to, yeah, here we have to give O. Let's run it again. So why are we getting this error? Or is not a function. Here the word is being end, or here the if condition is being end. So let's prevent it as uh, or four or four and over here to or four. Yeah. So as you can see here, two point. Now I am at two point. Now again the two point over is coming. So again, so we have to give it delay. Set. So because only one point should increase for that gold function. And inside it, so we should not do it over here. Let's put it over here. And comma one thousand. Let's run it. So yeah, now let's run it. I forgot to touch it. So let's queue the timeout over here too. Let's run it again. So we, we should not uh, give the timeout function here. Let's cut it and we have to give over the if condition over here. Where is it? Yeah, 
yeah, over here. Let's give comma 400 or 2000 or as 1000 will be fine, I guess. Let's pop, cut it and paste it and the same thing, thing over here too. But plus 2. Yeah, now let's run the program. I have fixed the scoring problem and here I added the uh, I changed the point state value to the random animation value 1 or 2 and over here in the function draw I have put, I have typed that uh, if more group 1 dot collide player uh, then point the point variable should uh, should uh, the value should change to point plus point point state and uh, by then um, by this way we can also group we can also destroy the ore so now let's try destroying the ore so for that here we have to give or or dot destroy and just close the bracket yeah and over here we have to give change this as variable now let's run the program so now the value of the point is zero you can see over here now i'm jump going to jump yeah, you can see the diamond and it is uh, two points. Two, so from zero, it has been went to two. So now I'm out. Let's try it again. So I missed it. So now uh, I have to when the game state is changed every object in the screen has to stop. So before that let's create a clouds. For that let's go to animation and take check search for cloud. So yeah here we can see the cloud. Let's take it. Yeah. And uh, next, let's add uh, some musical instruments at the bottom. Yeah, I think this will be fine. So what we are going to do is uh, every 10 frame, we are going to create this instrument at the bottom in a very small size. Let's see that if we we can get any other things. And we can also take something like a candy. So, yeah, we need the sun. So let's take the sun. And next. Let's yeah, I think we can take something like this. Let's take this. Let's name it as uh, let's name it as N D S design one and this as design 2 and this is cloud and this is sun so 
so yeah in the next let's add something like uh, an obstacle I think that's it. We cannot get anything else. So, let's take ice cream. Yeah, over here. So D is three. Now we have to create a function. So let's name it as D S. And also let's create a group before that let's see can we set velocity for the group yeah we can set the velocity for the group so let's create a group over here variable d s group equals create group so yeah here let's create a variable ds1 equals create sprite and inside the bracket the x, y width and height. So let's change the x as 5, 400 and the y as 400 and width as 20, 20. Height also 20. And next we are going to set the animation ds1 dot set animation. DS1 Before that let's do the if condition If world Dot frame count So we don't need this if world dot frame count uh, modulo six sixty equals 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 zero. I think it's we have to close it. So yeah. So if it is uh, 60 frames, this should create. Let's again copy this and paste it again. Let's see how much animation we have. So 1, 2 and 3. So we have to paste it twice. And also, let's rename it 2. DS2. DS. Two and over here three three and three. Let's check the rename rename the as yeah. Now it's right. Now we have to change the frame rate as this should be let it be around eighty. This let it be around hundred. Now we have to scale it. DS three dot scale equals zero point 
file let's copy it ds2 and over here ds1 let's run the program so we have not set the velocity I think we can take it as n twenty sorry forty and over here seventy. That's right. And the x position, let's give it as thirteen. Problem. Let's give it as 400 itself. Now let's set the velocity. D is one dot set velocity. Sorry, D is one dot velocity. X. Or else let's add it in a group. Group equals sorry dot add. We have to add the DS1. Copy, paste, paste. Now over here, 3 and 2. Yeah, and over here we have to set velocity each. So the Y velocity should be 0 and the X velocity should be minus 2 watts, yeah, 3. Let's run it. So it's not work. Yeah, we have not called the function. So in over here, let's hit enter. And if game set. equals 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 play then ds function should be called let's run it so why are we getting this error oops ds So it's not scale. So yeah, we have to scale it much more smaller. I think 0 0.2 will be better, I guess. Let's run it. Now we are getting an error. can only add sprites to a group. Yeah, it's a sprite. Oops, it's one. Yeah, let's run it. Oh. So I have scaled, scaled it wrongly. Let's once check the size of everything. So this is 213, yeah it's huge, yeah it's huge and it's too huge, I think 0 0.015, let's try it, now let's run the program, so I think it's better and we have to move its light up, around 385. Let's try for one sprite. No, it's too small. Three eight five and three eight five. Let's keep it as one five, one five and one five over here.
So this boat is overlapping. Yeah, I have understood that uh, Yeah, it's a problem. We have to check it. So now it's time to remove one of the thing because it's not possible to put three of the sprites. So animation one has been removed. So let's remove it. Let's check it. One thirty four Z Z. Z is it is it is it? So let's restore the previous version. So yeah, let's slash the first thing out from here. So we have to do this and this and at the end over here the same yeah let's run it so we have not scaled it so let's scale it 0 0.15 Let's run it. So yeah, but uh, it's 40 and it's 70. Let's give it a 50 and try. I think it's random and works well, but let's give it a 10 and a 20. So yeah, this looks fine, but we have to resize it to much smaller. Let's run it. Let's move it some more up. I don't three ninety five. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's okay and good, but why is it not working? Yeah, because the game state is not the And also, I forgot to view that over here where we made the velocity of everything to zero inside the function draw. Yeah, at this point. We have given the O dot velocity x is equal to 0, but why is it not running? O4. No. O dot velocity x is equal to minus 3. Where are we calling the O? So, yeah, over here, if the game state is played. It is so yeah now it's now it's fine 
and uh, we have to stop the velocity of the DES group so for that let's go over the function draw and yeah over here DES group dot set velocity each then the x and y zero comma zero let's test it out now so yeah it's it works and the next thing is that we have clouds so for that let's create another function function low before that let's take the name of the cloud yeah okay it's renamed as cloud and next over here we have to if I think we don't need to do the if let's just copy this and paste it and scale it to 0 0.4 and change it to 60 and rename it as cloud and over here cloud dot set animation and here to so yeah and we have to create a group variable cloud loop equals create loop and that's it here at the bottom we have to give us cloud group cloud group dot add cloud and over here to cloud and the x and y position let's keep it over here so the x x position should be 400 and the y position let's keep it around once 345 sorry 60 400 and the y position should be 60 let's and also velocity cloud dot set velocity sorry cloud dot velocity x minus 3 and next over here cloud group dot set velocity each zero comma zero and this must be in capital letter yeah, let's run it. So the clouds are missing. So we didn't we didn't call the function. So over here we have to call the function cloud clouds. Let's run it. So there is a error. Yeah, we have to do equals. Let's run it. So yeah, the clothes is working fine. And let's add the sun over here. 
let's create a function let's create it after the cloud function sun I think we don't need the function because it is going to be in a static place so for that let's yeah over here let's create variable sun equals create pride so around 50 comma 50 and uh, next animation sun dot set animation sun yeah let's run it so it's too big we have to scale it sun dot scale So yeah, it's text style and bold. Let's run it. Um, I think the point is not visible. It must be because of the color. Let's change it to black. Now let's run it. So yeah, now it looks look good. Next is so next is can we make the word to run? Let's try it. Yeah, let's make a copy and rename it as two. Let's just Oops. take the rectangle select tool, delete, and this two delete, and this let's draw a rectangle around it. Delete it. So I have made it and again I have to copy this and just go to this and paste it. Yeah. Now let's delete this and rename it as player1. Now let's check it. So it's passed. Let's find where did we pass it. So if player dot collide with ground, yeah, it's here. Let's give us player dot play. Let's copy it. I 
and paste it here. Let's run the program. So yeah, now it looks cool. And now it's time to add some more obstacles. Like the cactus. Yeah, the cactus and uh, rock. Yeah, that's it. So now I have to rename the spring or before that. Let me actually... So it's not the spring. Now I'm gonna change it to 120 and uh, I'm gonna delete this these things which we have created for the ore. And yeah, and now I'm gonna split it into two parts. Let me group the the line thing into one part and the spring thing into another part. So let's rename this OBS2 obstacle and obstacle 3 and uh, this is OBS1. So yeah, 239, 160, yeah, it's fine. And next, we have to, where is it? Yeah, create, uh, we have to set a random variable, rand a1 equals random number from 1 to ending at let me do variable V A R So yeah over here O P S plus R A N D one R A N D A one. Let's run it. So yeah, we have to cut it and paste it over here. Yeah, the cactus is here. So we have to scale it according to the animation for that let's create multiple if conditions let's rename it as OBS and this to as OBS this also OBS O B S O B S So yeah and over here let's add the if condition before after this if R A N D A one equals 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 one. Then it should create that invisible line. Yeah, this thing. 
so for the spring and next let's create another invisible line if so if uh, r a n d a 1 equals 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 2 so let's check what is 2 so it's the cactus so we don't need to scale it commonly let's cut it and scale this over here let's do e l s c else if scale it to 0 0.2 and the y position should be obs dot y equals 35 yeah it's fine now and let's just copy this again and here let's name it as 3 now let's try running the program Oops, we have to give it as the expression as 465. Sorry, 365. And here too. Let's run it. Yeah, the spring is in correct position. Let's try that if we can jump. No. So let's slash it out. Yeah, we don't need to. So let's rename it as uh, OBS one. Set animation OBS one. So the position of the cactus is also fine. We are getting an error. Oh, yes. Hmm. Let's try it again. So yeah, we can jump. So the position of the ore is not proper. We have to give here if RANDA1 equals 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 1 and and is 120 let's run it we are getting a problem so here where is it yeah we have to just copy this and just go to the beginning and uh, 
paste it let's frame it as zero let's run the program so the board does not display when it is uh, any other animation but when it is uh, so here we passed let's just check it again Yeah, let's try now. This, uh, the, the, even when it is in the end, uh, the animation is being played and also the, the group is being moved. DES group is be sorry, not DES group, the spring group. Let's check where is the problem. Yeah, over here, let's do spring. So let's just remove this line and use spring group dot set velocity each zero comma zero. Now let's run it. Yeah, it's fine. And also we have to pause the let's cut it and play it, paste it over here. So yeah, so next we have to give us player dot pass. And if it is, if the game set is play, we have to give player dot play. Let's run the program. So it has not been passed. Let's control X. So let's give an function. Sorry, if condition. If game state equals 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 n. Then this should happen. No, it doesn't work. Let's see. So yeah, it's because that that is it. So we have given the command that if uh, player dot collide the ground, where is it? Yeah, and, and we have to give and 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 then the uh, game state equals 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 play. Let's run it. No, it doesn't work. Let's 
try play one dot pass. I think it's passing the animation, not the sprite. No. So yeah, it's because of the command that uh, we have given that if it is colliding with the ground, then it should land the game. See, it is play. It should be. It should happen. So let's give a real self. So in, in the first case, let's just remove it. City or sorry, Z. Copy. And over here. And now if it is colliding with the ground and the game say it is play. Then it should set up. Let's just copy this. CTRLC and paste it over here nope this we should not do it let's copy this paste it now let's run the program so yeah it works Let's try by jumping and falling over the obstacle. Yeah, it works. And now, let's just, where is it? We have created, yeah, CTRLX and paste it over here. Yeah, we have to move this slight, slight above. So, which animation is this? Obstacle 3. So, yeah, it's here. If it is 3, then the X should be around the... Uh, now it is 365. Let's decrease it to 360. Let's try it. So yeah, it's fine now. Let's again check it once. Yeah, it's fine. And the next thing is we have to view the game over or thing like that. And I think we can make the obstacle come more often. Now this is better. And we have to add random ore. For that we have to view the ore. Yeah. And also, let's create another one function. As function O. Yeah, inside, let's first try copying it nope let's give it so we have to give that uh, create a random variable random x variable and uh, 
random x is equal to rand yeah random number from 1 to 400 Or else let's give it as 400 to 800. Yeah. And next we have to create variable O equals O Let's name it as four three is variable four three equals. I think we can remove the variable and apply variable. Yeah, four three equals create sprite. So the y position should also be random variable and y equals random number and it should be around 200 and 200 to 240 yeah and let's do the y position x position as a rand x and y position as rand y 10 comma 10 next let's set the velocity r a or e dot set well, sorry, dot velocity x equals minus 3 let's create a new group yeah, yeah the group is already being already created where is it yeah no we have to create again variable or Rand group so the random or group equals create group yeah let's move down and here let's give us or So the x and y is given and it should be created and another one thing we have to give the time out it should be created only one, every 5 seconds set time out function open and here let's close it comma 5000 milliseconds close the bracket so yeah over here let me have to put this Let's run the program. So we have to give that four dot set animation. Mm. 
and E. So where is it? Yeah, let's create a variable over here. Variable or rand a equals zero. Yeah, and we have to call the function in the from in the game state play. Yeah, over here. Let's call. Well, do we what do we name it? It's just simple or or is not a function, but it is a function. Let's rename rename it as or uh, five. Let's run the program. There is no animation named zero. So we are changing the value of rand a over here. Give it as variable. So we have to create a new random R A N D A two equals random number from one and two. Yeah. And over here, we can just remove this. Now let's run the. Let's see if the or is being created or not. So it's or three. We are we getting this rand a two? Now let's run it again. Oops, I have understand. Or we have to give in double quotes. Or and plus, yeah, now it it's random. So why multiple number of or is being created? Before that, let's scale it. So let's just do remove the timeout function. And you will if function. If world. So world dot frame count. equals 
sorry module 6 void let's keep as 200 modulo 0 60 sorry yeah modulo 200 equals 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 0 Open it. Let's close it. Now let's try running the program. Being created. And let's just scale the word 3. Now let's run it. So yeah, the word is over here. And now we have to do the same thing that we have done for the word 4. Let's create another point state. Point state R equals 0. So this is I Now we have to copy this And enter here So it is ran A1 Sorry, 2 And we have to again go to this Yeah, over here Let's just copy this function and paste again and rename it So, did we create the group over 2? So, we have created the over rand group. Let's add it inside the over rand group. And over in the function draw yeah at this point we have to give both rand to point is equal to point rand state is it point rand state or point state rand point state uh, Yeah, we rename it point state or now let's try running that program. So yeah, and it should uh, we should also do another one thing. Where is it? So yeah, over here. So here we have to give another variable. Let's copy it. 
variable word pre equals create sprite in this point. Yeah. And next at the end of the draw, over here we have to give over 3 dot destroy. Let's run it. Now let's take the point. Yeah, it works. But it does not destroy, but it goes down. So it's a problem. Let's check what happens for the war which comes in this during the spring. So now it's perfectly working fine. I have just added this command or or ran group dot set visible each false when it touches it. Let's test it. So yeah, it works and only two points is, has been increased. So now let's, uh, let's create some uh, obstacles in the air. So now I am going to use some vehicles like a helicopter. Yeah, I think I can use this. Let me choose red color one let's rotate it let's flip it yeah because we have to move it this side next let's get the next color green And next, yellow and the last thing, blue. Let's rename it as line 4, plane 3, plane 2 and plane 1. Let's invert everything. So yeah. Let's try creating a duplicate frame. Make animation. Let's fill the rectangle. First, let's pick the color. This one. No, yeah, this color. And then take the bucket and fill it. So I think it looks like moving. Let's do it for everything. So yeah, now I have done it for all the animation. And that now I have to increase the speed fully. So that it looks like the plane is rotating. 
the wing is rotating oops so your yeah, animation all has been done Let's go to the programming part. And now let's create a function. Let's name it as uh, obstacle year. And inside it, let's name the variable OBS. Or else let's name it as yar obs equals create sprite before that let's create a random variable so we are gonna do the same as we did for the war so let's just copy the same and paste it over here so now instead of 200 I am gonna give 120 or let me give 60 rand x1 rand x1 and let's rename it as yeah OBS This to one, one, and this is rand e, rand a three, and plane. There are four numbers. Let's create a group. Variable yeah, obvious group equals create group and let's create let's now add everything to the yeah, obvious group. And uh, I think that's it and we have to change this. Let's keep the cursor on these things and change it as R O B S. So yeah now let's run and we have not called the program. Over here let's call it. OBS here and that's it. Let's run it. We are getting a problem. So yeah, I forgot to change it. Now let's run it. So yeah, and we have to scale it. 0 0.5 will be good I guess yeah and I have to make the obstacles over 240 to up to 
So yeah, it's good. So now again we are getting the problem. I think it's good. So yeah, now it is inside the YAR OBS group. We have to go to the yeah, this thing. Let's just copy it and, and and paste it once again. But this time, yeah, OBS. Let's run it. No, it doesn't work. Let's check why. Yeah, OBS group. The group name is Yeah, OBS group. So, yeah, because that is it. So, instead of R, I have given an Yeah, over here. Let's run the program. So yeah, it's working fine. And we have to st stop the velocity of over here. You have to change more P, more group, more rank group. So is it the name? Yeah, or rand group dot set velocity each zero comma zero. Yeah, next yeah OBS group dot set velocity each zero comma zero. Let's run the program. So yeah, it works. Now we have to give and the game is fully completed and now we have to give that game over and like that thing. So for that, let's go to the end, yeah, and set uh, the invisibility of everything to false. Player dot visible equals false. And the same and next ground dot visible equals false. 
next four dot visible equals false and next ground uh, everything is over and next uh, cloud group dot visible equals false and next obs r dot visible equals false and next yar obs actually yar obs group yar obs group dot so for visible i think we have to give set visible let's check it yeah the set visible dot set visible false let's check if it works until this so we are getting an error So we have set velocity, so it's a mistake. Visible each false. Let's run it. So yeah, everything works until this. And next DES group and spring group. So DES group dot vis set visible each false. Next the spring group. dot set visible each false now let's run it oops i have to out yeah and we have also how to yeah set yes et visible visible each false that's it let's run it Let's also hide the sun. Sun dot set visible equals false. Let's try it. So yeah. But uh, sun sun dot visible equals false. Let's try it now. So it's fine. And now 
we have to do one thing where is it yeah over here for key win down let's do key down now let's play so yeah it's good and next we have to display the text after the function uh, over here so in the function draw after uh, sprite sprites dot drop we have to give an if condition So if game state equals 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 and then so then uh, we have to display a text message or else let's just uh, go to an animation scroll down and just take the animation and uh, game over so we have shown that that time let me search it so yeah it's in uh, a category all in the uh, 25th page it's here so i think we can use it and uh, we have to create a variable over here let's create variable over equals create sprite So 200 comma 200 and next over dot visible equals false and before that let's set the animation over dot set animation over yeah it's here let's rename it Yeah, and over here we have to make it visible after the uh, in the if condition which we have created over here over dot visible equals true and we have, can scale it over dot scale zero point equals zero point nine. Let's run and try. Unable to find animation over. Where is it? So, yeah, now it will be fine. So, yeah, it's good. And uh, we can move the scale. CTR X inside the yeah over here now let's try again yeah it's good 
so that's it we have completed our game and uh, in the in the I, I think i may create a part 2 of the game of an extended version an improved game and, uh, and in a future video and i will be creating a 5 to 10 minutes video on how to create the website into the app so now it is in the website like this so in the future video i will be saying you how to create it into an app so you can just create your own app and click on share so you can uh, you can also view my app in the description below and uh, you just uh, click on this share button and copy the link and if you paste it in a new tab you can play the game somewhat bigger yeah like this and if you have created your own version please leave your uh, link in the description below uh, sorry in the comment section below and uh, the link to my game is also in the description and i will give the link give this link in the description and if you need to view the code for reference click on this view code and it will be redirected to the page and you need to click the remix uh, you cannot edit it before you click the remix in my code so that's it thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe this video bye let's meet on next video